Now that you're ready to use three commas, the first thing you have to do is you have to connect your exchanges to three commas. Three commas is a third party trading platform. So you don't actually store any crypto on three commas. The only way that you can use three commas is you have to give three commas permission to trade on your behalf on your crypto exchanges. So the way that you do this is through an API key. An API key essentially is the keys to the kingdom to your cryptocurrency exchanges. Depending on the exchange, you'll have a variety of things that you're going to have to pull into three commas, such as your API key, your API secret, and depending on the exchange, an API passphrase. Thankfully, three commas has tons and tons of resources that are also linked below this video of every single wiki article on their site to show a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to connect your exchange to three commas. For all of you advanced traders that already have accounts on futures or margin markets and you want to connect it to three commas, first, check to make sure that those markets are supported by three commas. And if they are, navigate to your futures or your margin wallet, and then in the settings of your exchange, click on add an API key. Connect that futures or margin based API key to three commas and voila, there you go. Note that three commas does support the ability for you to deposit crypto using three commas, but not all exchanges are supported. A couple of things to keep in mind. When you create a new API key for three commas on your exchange, you should already have 2FA enabled both on your exchange and three commas. 2FA stands for two-factor authentication. And essentially, it's a secondary form of protection on your account to keep out the scammers and the hackers and fishers. Unfortunately, there will always be bad actors in the crypto space, and there will be malicious websites that look exactly like three commas or Binance or FTX or OKX or whatever, but one character will be slightly off. And these are phishing websites. And again, this actually goes to say that it's really important to bookmark the crypto sites that you use regularly. I know that you know how to type, but trust me, bookmarking will save a lot of stress and angst later in the future if you get fished. So after you've bookmarked three commas in your favorite exchanges, the next thing to do is in the settings of three commas in both your exchanges, go ahead to the option that says enable to FA. Sometimes it'll say enable Google Authenticator, but essentially 2FA can be done on lots of different services. The service that I like to use the most is called Authy. Authy has been around for a long time and they are a fantastic 2FA provider. It doesn't cost anything. It's free to set up and it only takes a few minutes. All you have to do to set up 2FA is you need to have a computer. So you can set up Authy on your computer, on your browser, and even on your smartphone. The benefit of having it on more than one device is that if for some reason your computer, your phone, or your browser is compromised, then you're able to log in and you can lock out or remove that other device that's been compromised. But the chances are it's gonna be pretty hard to do unless your physical device is stolen. So the whole thing that 2FA does is that if for some terrible reason an exchange is hacked, and the emails and the passwords are all stolen. That means that bad actors could have access to your portfolio if you don't have 2FA, because 2FA is a six digit code that automatically refreshes every 30 seconds. So the only way for a hacker to really get into your account when 2FA is enabled is they need to have your name, your password, and a device that's auto updating 2FA. And note that after a couple of tries, if 2FA is wrong, it's going to lock your account out. Now that you're done with intro to crypto trading, it's time to move forward in this course to learn about smart trade.